Hello, my name is Maria Hatziolis. I work at the World Bank. The World Bank is an international organization dedicated to international development and the alleviation of poverty. Um, my particular job at the bank is, is an exciting one and one which most people would not associate with an international organization dedicated to poverty alleviation. I work on uh, the ocean and coastal management issues, marine biodiversity, and coral reefs. Uh, you might well ask what coral reefs or coastal issues have to do with an international organization. Well, if you think about it, more than half the world's population lives in a narrow area of the coast between uh, the ocean and, and uh, the larger land masses. And so we really have a development issue here with the world's population increasing, many, many more people moving to coastal areas and uh, putting pressure on ocean and coastal ecosystems. These ecosystems are extraordinarily important for coastal economies. They provide a livelihood, they provide uh, income, they provide coastal protection. At the same time, however, people are uh, increasingly uh, stressing the ocean and undermining the ability of the ocean and its diverse ecosystems to provide these essential goods and services. And so my job is to try to understand the human ecosystem interactions, where the pressures are most severe, and how we can intervene to guide governments and communities on how to better steward these resources so that they can continue to provide essential services that are essential to humankind and welfare. Now, the ocean, as you all know, constitutes about 70% of the planet. And so we all have a stake in preserving the ocean. And my job is to try to uh, tr communicate the importance of the ocean uh, to people, their futures, and, and the survival of the planet. One of my particular passions is coral reefs, which uh, cover just a very, very small percentage of the ocean, less than 1%, but they harbor most of the ocean's diversity of life. They are incredible systems. Any of you who have dived on reefs know this. They are spectacular, majestic wonderful systems that provide all sorts of services and uh, also cultural and, and spiritual uh, inspiration, but they are under threat. And uh, they are under severe threat. In fact, they are probably the most threatened of ecosystems, coastal ecosystems in the world. And so my job is to try to help communities understand the importance of these systems and how to better uh, manage and protect them. And one of the things that we are doing now is to provide better science to managers and to policymakers so that they understand these interactions, they understand how coral reefs are starting to respond to stressors, not just from local pressures, human uh, pressure on reefs, from pollution, overfishing, destruction of, of, of reefs and mangroves for tourism development, et cetera, but also from climate change. This is a major threat, and so we need to understand how reefs are responding to these stressors and what kinds of interventions we must take immediately to preserve reefs. And the bottom line is that we have to work on two different levels. We have to immediately reduce carbon emissions. That means understanding how we as individuals, as well as countries, are affecting the amount of CO2 that's going into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to look at our own ecological footprints in this respect. So at that level, at the level of reducing carbon emissions, we need to take action uh, at the international level as well as at the community level. And then we have to look at the individual local stressors that we are placing on reefs through our uh, consumption patterns, the kinds of seafood that we eat, our demand for seafood that comes from reefs, uh, our pollution, what we're doing, what we're putting into coastal waters where reefs uh, are distributed and their need for clean water and how we are impacting this. And then um, also in terms of uh, uh, preserving these habitats by not building in these areas where, where reefs exist and maintaining uh, kinds, the kinds of, of uh, buffer systems, mangroves, seagrass beds that reefs require. Uh, to, to thrive. So there are many um, different things that we as communities and individuals can do, but we also need to press our governments to take action on climate change.